G'day guys, it's Jara here and we are back playing Kindergarten, so we're gonna do file one. Um, so we're just gonna get straight on back into it. So it's Monday, again, times two. So we just kind of played around the last one because I couldn't really figure out much, but what I am going to do is I am going to figure out this game. I want to play it and we're going to do it. So, we're going to do, whose mission? I think we might do Cindy's mission first. No, we might do the teachers actually, because we're almost on the teachers. So we might do the kindergarten teachers mission. Just because I think it's, um, we got the most hints for. It's a bit easier, I guess. Um, so yeah. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do the teachers. So... Um, okay. So, I have to, and I'm being completely honest with you guys, because I feel like honesty is the best policy. I don't know what to do. So, I've searched it up, and I'm still going to try. But, uh, I just, to be honest, have no idea what I'm doing. And I'd rather play a game, because I've tried figuring it out, to be honest, and I'm not good at these games. So, I want to do Miss Applegate's Lunch Pass mission. So... According to this, it says take seven dollars from your piggy bank, start the day. Now, Bugs takes half of it. Okay. I think we sort of figured this out a bit, but not enough to get it, if that makes sense. <laughs> I wonder why seven, though. Luckily, I have ten bucks. So... My very decided day of kindergarten. Who knows, to be honest, kid. Hmm. Oh, crap. I don't even remember any voices. Hmm. I smell money. Yeah. Yeah, someone's definitely carrying more than $3 around here. Wait. Someone's definitely carrying $3 around here. Hey, kid. You carrying any cash? Yeah. Excellent. Give me half or I'll split your empty skull with my foot. Uh, yes. Good, now don't tell the teacher this and you might mess up like that Billy kid. So, I need to tell myself okay, he stole it and agree to fight with him. Ah! Bugs stole my money. What if he hurts me, it'll build character. What's in it for me? Okay. Okay. So I start a fight with this boy. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. He's never proud of you. Um, I want to live, actually. Oops. Sure, I got nothing else to do. Miss Applegate! <gasps> Bugs! How dare you attack another student unprovoked again! That is the last straw! I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please don't. He started. He's a liar. He said my dad's not coming back. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office or I'll have the janitor carry you there. But, but, uh, go! Stupid rat. We could be friends if you didn't rat me out. Oh, happy days. I'm finally getting rid of that little degenerate. He's a gold star, as promised. Hmm. Now you got me thinking. Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's a principal's kid. Maybe we could arrange a visit for his daddy. Maybe we will. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Come see me during morning time and I'll tell you what to do. Uh, when you see... When you send him to the office, agree? Yeah. Buy a voice recorder from Monday to talk to Cindy. Ask if your love is enough. Hey, Mond. Dang it! I keep hitting the wrong buttons! Uh, I need to restart. I need to restart. No, nope, I need to restart the day. Yes. Yeah, I know. Uh, 
But I need to, I forgot to buy the, yeah. I forgot to buy the recorder. I kind of find it weird that you can have actions in here, but well. Yeah, yeah, you can spend my money. Beat me up, bro. Fine. But Miss Applegate! Miss Applegate! But I spend my money. Okay. I think this is one of the reasons why I want to be a, a teacher. Because you can mold kids into doing things. And like... Teaching kids to do the right thing. And obviously she's a horrible teacher, but getting to, getting to teach kids to do the right thing and molding them to be in a future where they can change the world is a huge thing. Maybe we could see you then. Right. Talk to Monty by a voice recorder. Oh, that's why you need that three for day. Anything else? Uh, buy a rose from one. Okay. Nothing else. Talk to Cindy. Sure. Ask her, isn't your love enough? Isn't our love enough? Then why? You don't seem like any of those things. Fine, you ask for it. What are you gonna do? Oh, dearie me. What on earth is going on? Someone cried rape. Yes, Miss Applegate. It was me, that boy trying to rape me. <sighs> Cindy, we've been over this. Boys not wanting to be your boyfriend, not count as rape. As per the school policy, I will send you both to the principal's office. What? You're punishing me for almost being raped? Now you listen to me, you little parasite. You're going to the principal's office. End of story. This is so unfair. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the principal. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice to. Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? Are you trying to rape me? Great. Well, then, Bugs, let's see if you easy this time. He's a little dumpster file. Obviously, you're a recess, pal. Okay, you two, let's get over this. So, you're kissing your little friend here trying to rape you. Really, Cindy? This rug was moved very recently, and there's blood there. Yes, sir. I could barely find them all. I'm gonna assume you're gonna deny that you raped her, is that correct? Yes. That's why I thought, well, since there's no wind, since you don't have any proof, there's no much need for separating two for a while. I recorded the incident. You did? Well, that makes it a hell of a lot easier, isn't it? If I have enough to listen to this, it will make yourself, make it easy on yourself, just admit nothing happened. But, but, he what? Okay, fine, but he started it. He said I was mean. Not good enough. I think you're gonna enjoy not having you in school for a while, Cindy. I'm gonna keep this recording in case any trouble from your awful mother comes. So can I leave? No. No, why don't you run back to class? I think you missed enough of your learning today. Oh, you're back. Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? No, no proof. Does that mean she's gone? Oh, happy days. I was so sick of hearing her nonsense, which is like a gold star. Well, our little rules didn't get rid of bugs, I'd hope. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. We're at Jerome. Ah, oh, yes. The high and mighty Jerome. We'll talk back to me because his daddy's my boss. And I think we got finally get even with him. There's a principal inform me that one of his hall passes had gone missing. I bet Nuggets laughed that Jerome took it. What's well, Nuggets' life to you? Not much. But I make a teacher side, so... Ev so even by my students' lives, no, my system is still a pretty significant percentage. I'll do it. Excellent. Just go ahead and give it to him. Uh, talk to Jerome. Uh, that's, that's not Jerome. Ah, Jerome, buddy boy. Dude, uh, did you steal a hall pass? Why, you shouldn't get one? Yeah. Too bad. Wow. Unless there's something cool. Alright. Yo, Mont. I wanna buy a yo yo. Deal. Yeah, yeah. A yo yo's cool. Hell yeah, they are. 
Maybe you're cool after all. Should you owe for the past? You gotta do, and since we gotta be friends, I think you should do something to help me out. You know, as a friend, like what? A creepy old giant? He stole my laser point this morning, said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need to help you get it back. What do I do? When you're ready, I'll give you the hall pass. You use it to get by as a hall monitor. Once you pass him, head to the janitor's closet. My laser should be in there somewhere. Awesome. It should be in a box somewhere. Just grab it. Don't let it too long. Check fast regularly. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll give you the pass. I won't be able to distract the teacher for so long. She heads straight to the door. Uh, Alright. Give me just one minute. Jerome is distracting me. <laughs> I knew it. Jerome, you little cockroach. We've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. Uh, you ratted me out, teacher. Dude. Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. They stop calling me that. No, cause that's what you are, teachers. Special little rat. Just like Jerome's teacher's special little suspended hooligan. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on bro, I thought you were cool. Well, he's not. And because he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Now why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Man, stupid rat. Giving me in trouble. My dad's gonna kill me. Oh, that was just perfect. You're a natural. Let's just keep removing. I have a special plan for Nugget. Just refrain the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Feel free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're there. I have to get creative though. Told Nugget, be friends. And then eat the nut. Eat the nugget and skip to lunch. Do you want to be friends? If what? You eat this nugget? That's it? Okay. Alright, lunch time. Monty. Uh, I keep doing that. I'm sorry. Uh, touch a nugget. Sure. You can taste the poison. Wait, what? Perhaps it depends on what you do next. But I'll just do something. Yeah. Does it every day? What would you do? Because not has ants to take your life. Here's another nugget. She's quite similar to one you just ate. This one's more. Hurry, just let bugs eat it. Okay, I'll try. Better hurry. Uh, Sibithy, I need you to eat this. It's a nugget. Because otherwise you look like a sissy. Cindy. Cindy doesn't think I'm a sissy. Well, she went. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that. I'll show her. Go to the... Give me the antidote. It is done. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Great. Go to the janitor tell him that Monty corrected him. That's the name Monty gets. You spelled Bisco wrong. Monty can. Hey, nerd! Uh, what are you gonna do? Giant stuff? No, I buy a coffin. Can I have the glasses? Yeah, shameful. Right. Uh, can I go to the bathroom? I found some glasses. Yeah, I kind of stuffed that up a bit. Hopefully it doesn't destroy it too much. Alright. Uh, why doesn't he trust you? So what do I do? Oh, but I need to get rid of Cindy. Oh, Cindy's gone. Oh, wait, I didn't get rid of... Wait, though. 
I didn't get rid of Lily. Dang it! Can I restart the room? Dang it, I have to restart the day! Alright, I fixed it all. So we got the three stars. Oh, we're gonna be friends with a little nugget. He doesn't trust you, so what do I do? Come back when he's done. So I gotta go down to the nugget cave with nugget. Yes. You gotta shite out your nuggets. Now I'm gonna look around. Take the corpse. Take the puppy. Take the card. Might as well look at the rest of this. Nope. Did I tribute to Billy? Uh, actually, I wanna go up. Yes, but I'm ready to go. Miss Applegate! Is that- Is that Cindy's dog? Nugget? Nugget's gonna get in trouble. What is it, large teacher lady? Did you kill Cindy's dog? What? No, Nugget wouldn't it? Well, not never, but Nugget is relatively harmless. Don't lie to me. Nugget is not lying. Nugget knows it was Janda who killed the little puppy. I know it was you. Ah, that was unfortunate. Well, that didn't go as planned, but here's another good star. Go home early. Alright, got I got the pass. Doodles. Hey, lunch pass. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I got wizard worm as well. Plus 25 cents. That is the teacher's mission completely done. So I, I am sorry I had to use notes, but this game is hard by itself. And I'm being honest. So the next mission is Cindy's. We're gonna do. So Cindy's followed by Jerome, followed by Nugget, then Bugs, and. If there's another mission after that, then we'll do that mission after that. But until Cindy's mission, dry up, says in the next video. Sorry, Kazma, let's bring in for various guys at hug. Bye bye. See ya. Woo.